Hey, welcome in. In this video, we'll be talking about if statements and uh, Booleans, which is an, an important part of if uh, statements in R. So we're going to start by thinking about simple logical tests. Let's say I type in in my console, the simple uh, sort of statement five greater than three. If I hit return, I'm essentially asking R is five greater than three and R is going to return true. If I ask is five equal to three and for equals, I, I need to use two equal signs instead of one. That's just the R syntax. Um, R is going to return uh, false. So basically here I'm saying five greater than three, true, five equal to three, false. Obviously five is not equal to three. Um, if I ever want a shortcut, I can just type true and true is always equal to true and false is always equal to false. Um, so we can think of a Boolean value as sort of a value that either takes on true or false. And this is central to if statements because in our if statements, we are going to type if, which obviously turns orange because it's an important word in R. We type our parentheses, and within these parentheses, we're going to have some sort of expression that either uh, evaluates to true or false, so an expression that eventually simplifies to Boolean. So let's um, put in if 81 is greater than 47, then I'm going to type my curly braces. Within my curly braces, I'm going to actually run some code. Let's say I want to print. This means I print to the console, uh, hello. So here I have my if statement, and then I have a condition within the if statement and some code uh, within uh, to actually uh, run if the if statement is true. So if I run this, I highlight it, press control, return on my keyboard. I'm going to run the code and lo and behold, there is hello. Because if I look at my condition within the if statement, right? Um, this is true, 81 is greater than 47. And if I just evaluate, so highlighting 81, greater than 47, if I hit control return, uh, that's going to return true because uh, 81 is greater than 47. We get if true um, and, and we print hello. So uh, notice I could have just simplified and, and put true directly in. So if true, print hello, that would be the same thing. If I said if 81 is less than 47, this is false. So I'm going to run my if statement um, and nothing is going to come out. R checked if uh, this, was, this was false. So R didn't even get into this, this code. Um, so uh, there's a couple of other uh, added dimensions we can have here. So for example, we want to check multiple conditions. So let's say if 81 is greater than 47. Um, and let's say we want to say and um, uh, 3 is equal to 7. So here I have two separate conditions, 81 greater than 47, 3 equal equal 7. If both of these are true, so and, we use double ampersand for and, then go into the code, uh, go into the curly brackets and run that code. And if I run this, I'm going to get nothing. Um, why is that? Well, 81 is greater than 47, right? 81 greater than 47, that's true. However, 3 does not um, equal 7, that's false. And if I ever did true and false, I'm basically asking R, is this true and is this true? And this will say uh, false. This is true, but this is not true. So it, the, the overall statement is this and this true is, is false. And uh, that, that's for the and case, but we can also think about the or case. For the or case, we're going to use these two vertical lines, um, which are on the right side of your keyboard. Here I'm asking, it, is this true or is this true? And this is true and this is false, but at least one of them is true. So if I hit return, I am going to get um, true. So let's uh, change this slightly to or. So here I'm asking is 81 greater than 47 or is three equal to seven? And if I run this, what do you think I'm gonna get? And we'll print hello because it's true that one of these statements is, is true. Um, and finally, uh, you can also build if statements within if statements. So um, I can add another if statement. Um, let's say if uh, seven is greater than negative four um, and, uh, or let's, let's actually change that a bit. Let's say seven is uh, less than negative four. Um, sorry, I'm just typing some code here. Okay. So here I want to run my, uh, if, let, let's, let's actually just highlight this. I'm going to run it and pause the video and see if you can uh, see what's going to come out on the console on the right side. So hopefully you have seen that hello is going to be printed. Just hello, not hello again, because we evaluate if one of these statements is true, uh, one of these statements is true, 81 is greater than 47, we enter into this part of the code, we run print hello, it prints hello to the console, 
And then we evaluate this if statement, if seven is less than negative four, seven is not less than negative four, it's greater than uh, negative four. So that is false. So we don't enter into this if statement. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if statements can start as very simple, but can get pretty complicated and are very useful parts of coding, not just in R, but in any sort of uh, programming. So see you next time.